Q-tip request from Graham underscore Heron, and it's for a straight black screw back with reverse side to get position on the next red. We've got a little example here. We've got a red here that we want to play for. So how do we get on that? We're straight in the black, so we need to use reverse side. So that means screwing the cue ball back off this cushion, left hand side to take the cue ball this direction to get position on the red. When you're playing with side, it's even more important to deliver that cue straight. You're addressing the cue ball on the left hand side when you get down. There's a side, takes it up the table, perfect on the red, perfect. We can play for blue, black, pink, whatever, because we're perfect. We did a request from L Caddy 7 and it's about bringing the cue ball back down this end of the table we've got a red over that corner pocket. Now, maybe some beginners would think, oh, I've got to play this with top spin and hit it hard. Well, that's the wrong thing to do, because if you do that, the cue ball will have a top spin, which will arc the cue ball and keep it down that end of the table. You've got to almost aim low on the cue ball. And almost like play a stun shot, so then you've got zero spin. And that will bring the cue ball right down the table. Now look at this for a shot. Perfect on the black. You're up and win the frame from there. Q-tip request today comes from Patrick Rose, and it's where to aim when you're playing with side on a straight pot. Now, actually, you don't aim any different on the object ball, but what you do when you're aiming with side, don't get down to the shot, aim in the middle, and then move the tip like that to play with side. When you get down to the shot, you're still aiming in a straight line, but your cue is going to the side, but still in a direct line between the pink and the pocket, then you can just aim the same place and pot the pink right in the middle. So the great WT, Willie Thorne, when he was commentating, would always uh, talk about a situation like this, um, called, called the flat back pack, and stick me hand 29 is requested a way of potting the black and splitting the reds when the situation arises. Now, my tip would be, avoid all costs cannoning the middle red, because that is not going to open the reds, unless you hit it you know, really, really hard. So my tip again, go for either these two reds or these two reds. You're not going to open all the pack, but you're going to open enough, hopefully, to give you a chance to continue the break. So I'm going to go for the far two reds, just a stun, basically, not screw. So I've just caught those two reds. I've got enough checks in the cue ball. I've got a red into this corner pocket. It's not perfect, but I'm confident I can go and clear up and win the frame. 